Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing and building video. Today we're going to be looking at the Estes Big Daddy. So let's get started with it. Alright guys, here's the Estes Big Daddy. This is a really cool kind of retro looking rocket. It has a total length of 19 inches. It can also reach up to 900 feet on its recommended engines. This rocket is equipped with a 24 inch parachute. And this rocket is also rated an advanced build. So kind of right there in the middle on difficulty. I think that's enough said about the rocket. Let's move on and open it up. Alright, here's the nose cone and body tube on this rocket. The nose cone on this is ginormous. I think it's the biggest on any of the rockets that I have in my fleet. So that's kind of cool. And then the body tube. This is a 3 inch diameter body tube. And it also has the place for the fins already pre-cut. All right, so in this first small bag, we have the motor mount tube, the engine hook. We also have the engine block piece. All right, and in this bigger bag, it has the 24 inch parachute, the shock cord, the laser cut centering rings for the motor mount, the balsa wood fins, and the decal set that comes with this rocket. And lastly, here we have the instruction set. Alright, so we're going to start off building the rocket by assembling the motor mount. So we're going to want to just start measuring some stuff on that. Alright, so the first thing we have to measure is the yellow spacer tube. So measure 3 sixteenths from the bottom of the tube on it. Alright, and then you're going to measure on the motor mount tube. So the first measurement on that is going to be one fourth of an inch on the outside of the tube from the bottom and then one inch and then you're going to do three and a half inches and then three and seven eighths of an inch as well All right, so next you're going to install the green engine block. So what I would do is I would take a popsicle stick or like a pencil or something, measure an inch on that from one end, put some glue on that, and then um, just put a ring of glue on the inside of the motor mount tube and make sure it's on that inch line when you do that. And then you're going to take the green engine block piece, stick it in there a little bit, and then take the yellow spacer tube, and then stick it in there until the end of the engine mount tube is even with the 3 16th inch mark that you already made on there. All right, and then you're gonna cut a little slit along the three and a half inch mark on the motor mount tube that you made earlier. This is gonna be the place for your engine hook piece to go. All right, and then you have the centering rings to put on the outside of the motor mount tube. The first one with the notch in it goes at the bottom. It goes on the one fourth inch mark that you made earlier. Be careful with these, they are kind of stiff and tend to not cooperate when you're working with them. And then the second one without the notch, that one goes on the top and that's at the 3 and 7 eighths inch mark. Alright, and then apply some glue fillets to all the joints on this. And then you can smooth it with your finger and then let it dry for a little while. Alright, so after the motor mount has finished drying, you're going to put it in the inside of the rocket. So just apply some glue around the edges of the laser cut centering rings. 
and yeah just stick it in there make sure the end of the engine hook is even with the end of the body tube Alright, so now you're going to put the fins on the rocket. Luckily, this rocket already has the place for the fins already pre-cut on it. So you're going to take one of the fins and put a thin layer of glue on the leading edge of the fin. Alright, so just put the fin in the already pre-cut hole on the body tube. If it doesn't fit properly, you can always sand it down so the shape comes down a little bit so it'll fit in there better. And then just take some glue and apply it to the outside edge of the fin and body tube. This will add some extra strength for the fins while it's in flight. Alright, so now you're going to take the shock cord and shock cord mount and glue them together. So overlap the shock cord on top of the shock cord mount. And then just put a couple dabs of glue on each square. All right, and then fold the first square to the second and then the second to the third square. And then you may need to hold it firmly for a couple seconds so the glue can set. All right, so now you're gonna attach the shock cord to the inside of the body tube. So apply some glue to the outside of the shock cord mount. And now stick the shock cord on the inside of the body tube. You're going to want it about three and a half inches on the inside so it doesn't interfere with the nose cone while it's in flight. All right, and with the other end of the shock cord, you're going to want to just put it on the end of the nose cone. So tie it with a double knot so it doesn't come undone very easily during flight. All right, now you're going to tie the 24 inch parachute onto the rocket. So after you get it out of the packaging, just unfold it and get the shroud lines in a line together. All right, and then you're gonna tie the end of the shroud lines onto the shock cord itself. You're gonna want it about one inch away from the bottom of the nose cone. All right, and then take the top of the parachute and just loop it through the shroud lines and then pull it tight. All right, and the last step on building the Estes Big Daddy is putting on the launch lug. So just put some glue on the launch lug and then just stick it on there about four and a half inches up from the bottom of the body tube. And then just make sure it's straight. All right, so there's the finished product of the Estes Big Daddy. This was a really fun and enjoyable build for me, and I hope you had as much fun as I did building this rocket along with me. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you could do me a quick favor and like and subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. Also, turn on bell notifications to stay up to date with the latest SGRC content. Remember, anyone can be a rocket scientist, even you. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.